Salut तो वेलकम बैक आप सभी को बहुत बहुत फिर से स्वागत है हमारी ओर से तो आज का जो पावर ऑफ वन का जो सेशन है उसमें हमारे साथ एक बहुत यंग दोस्त जुड़े हैं जिसके बारे में आप सभी ने पढ़ा भी होगा जिसके बारे में हम आगे भी जानेंगे उन्हीं से जानेंगे बट बिफोर वी डू दैट आप सभी को पता होगा कि हम पावर ऑफ वन सेशन क्यों रखते हैं हम सेशन में जाने से पहले थोड़ा उसके बारे में समझ लेते हैं पावर ऑफ वन सेशन ऐसे इंसानों को हम बुलाते हैं ये सेशन में कि जिन्होंने कुछ बदलने की कोशिश की है वो ऐसी राह पे चल रहे हैं जब वॉकिंग ऑन द पाथ अनकन्वेंशनल पाथ जिसको हम बोलते हैं ऐसी जर्नी उन्होंने शुरू की है और उनकी लाइफ में उन्होंने कुछ हासिल किया है बहुत सारे लोगों की जिंदगी में कुछ बदलाव लाया है ऐसे लोगों को हम बुलाते हैं ताकि हम उनकी जो लाइफ है उनमें से कुछ सीख सके उन्होंने जो चैलेंजेस फेस की है क्योंकि तो ये जो रास्ता है दैट इज नॉट इजी एट ऑल बहुत सारी ऑब्स्टिकल्स आएंगी बहुत सारी चैलेंजेस आती है बट हाउ दे हैव ओवरकम ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड हाउ दे आर स्टिल फेसिंग दीज चैलेंजेस इसकी वजह से हम पावर ऑफ वन सेशन रखते हैं क्योंकि वी बिलीव कि चेंज पहले बाहर बाद में आता है पहले इंसान के भीतर आता है अंदर आता है थैंक यू सो मच फॉर टर्निंग इन टूडे ऑल ऑफ द पीपल हु आज जो भी लोग जुड़े हैं उन सभी का थैंक यू एंड मैं जय हूँ मेरा नाम जय है और मैं ओएसएस की यंग टीम में एक हिस्सा हूँ और हमारे साथ मेरी को होस्ट है टीना जी है टीना जी ओएसएस का जो दिल्ली रीजन है वो हेड करती है तो वेलकम टीना जी एंड टुडे वी हैव वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विथ अस जो हमारे साथ बहुत समय से कनेक्टेड है वेदानंदा पंड्या जिनको हम प्यार से वेदा भी बुलाते हैं जिनके बारे में आपने पढ़ा होगा और वो नेपाल में उनकी जो स्कूल है और बिंदु विद्या मंदिर जो स्कूल है वो उसके डायरेक्टर है एंड वहाँ पे उन उन्होंने पढ़ाई की थी और वहीं पे आज वो काम कर रहे हैं बहुत सारे बच्चों के साथ वो काम कर रहे हैं ही इज अ वेरी लविंग ह्यूमन बीइंग उनको हमने आज तक जितना भी जाना है हम उनकी जो प्रेजेंस है उनकी वाइब है बहुत वाइब्रेंट है बहुत एनर्जी है उनके पास बहुत प्यार है उनके दिल में और वो बच्चों को हर रोज वो प्यार बांटते हैं He keeps on sharing the love that he has in his heart. So once again, welcome uh, Veda from all of us at Oasis, and it's a really a pleasure to have you here with us. So Nepal से हमारे दोस्त जुड़े हैं, and uh, we are lucky to have हमारे बहुत सारे young दोस्त जुड़े हैं जो आप he is very young as you can see. आप सभी देख पा रहे होंगे he is very young. एंड ही इज ऑल्सो वर्किंग विद चिल्ड्रेन जैसे कि हमारे बहुत सारे दोस्त जो आज जुड़े हैं बहुत सारे यंग दोस्त हैं वो लोग भी कुछ बदलना चाहते हैं एजुकेशन सिस्टम में खास तौर पर चेंज लाना चाहते हैं जो हम सबको पसंद नहीं है कहीं ना कहीं पर तो उसमें चेंज लाना चाहते हैं एंड वेदा हैज बिन वर्किंग वो बहुत अरसे से ये काम कर रहे हैं इतनी कम उम्र में उन्होंने बहुत कुछ हासिल किया है तो उनकी जर्नी हम जानेंगे वो एजुकेशन के बारे में क्या जान क्या पहचान रखते हैं वो क्या करते हैं बच्चों के साथ उनकी खुद की एजुकेशन कैसे हुई कैसे ये एजुकेशन अलग है हमारी सो कॉल्ड एजुकेशन सिस्टम से तो वी विल गेट टू नो हिज जर्नी हिज स्ट्रगल्स हिज चैलेंजेस एवरीथिंग वी विल गेट टू नो टूडे सो वेदा वेलकम वंस अगेन टू यू Thank you, thank you, and uh, thank you for having me. I am really honored to actually be with all of you. Siba ji and Sanjeev ji, I met them in uh, Ukraine actually uh, two years back when I was in uh, uh, in the conference, uh, IDEC conference, International Democratic Education Conference, and when I saw them smiling everywhere. it just drew my heart and we got connected we couldn't spend a lot of time together you know talk about a lot of things but uh, during web idec when i was organizing we really got to interact and we got to know each other very closely and uh, during the session also we had a lot of interaction and uh, i mean when web idec happened there were a lot of different ideas coming through you know people were talking about different uh, uh, approaches to education and so on but uh, 
uh, what uh, Shivaji and Sanjeevji, they shared, uh, which uh, really touched me and uh, which really brought us together is the spiritual, the, the, the inner kind of journey that all of us need to go and make it a part of education, you know. So I think uh, the connection is really a lifelong connection. So I'm really honored to be with all of you and all the young people, you know, like me and like my brothers and sisters, probably all of you are, some of you are, uh, really young, I guess, 18, 19, that inspires me a lot, actually, you know, uh, <laughs> that's so lovely, you know, Shivaji, when she mailed me, she told me that there would be some young people like 18, 19, and uh, I think that's, an that's, that's an inspiration for me, so I'm really honored, I've not really prepared anything to talk, uh, because, uh, you know, uh, the whole day I was busy because today is 15th August and our school is based on the philosophy of Sri Aurobindo and the mother. So whole day we were, you know, preparing. We had uh, just, just a function got over, you know, downstairs they're still cleaning and doing a lot of things. I, I had to run here. And uh, so, yeah, I was uh, slightly, you know, I was not really feeling well, but now I'm, I think I'm really good now. So, <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's chat. Uh, let's discuss. You know, you can ask me anything that you want because you are working, so you know a lot. You have all the challenges. You have, uh, I think, overcome overcome a lot of things. So I think it's going to be a heart to heart talk for sure. Absolutely. So as you shared, we have many many things in common, and two of the things that we have in common is smile and the love for children <laughs> that we have. So if, as long as we have that in common, you don't need any kind of preparations for right. sure. Right, right. So, yeah. So, yeah, we will share our heart. You can share your heart. We want to know your journey. Your journey, the way you have approached education. From the young age, you have also young age. We have heard about you. And uh, so many people who are in the audience, who even younger than 18, 15, 16 years ke bhi bachche jude hai aaj. So, wo bhi kaafi relate kar paayenge aap ke journey se. Aap ne go challenges face ki hai and how you are still walking on that path and with the dream that you have. So, uh, first question uh, we have is ki as you are working on Arbindo's educational philosophy, aap usko integral education bhi bool te ho. So, humare jo bachche jude hai, unko aap what common language mein, yani ki layman term mein agar aap explain kar so, okay, what is the education philosophy of Shri Arbindo that you are currently uh, working on? Aapki school mein jo aap kaam kar rahe ho. So, what is that education if you can explain in simple terms? Sure, sure. So, you know, I think uh, the, the kind of education that I got in the ashram because uh, I come from a very, very remote uh, part of Nepal, actually. My parents and my grandparents, they never went to school. So I'm like the first uh, gen school goers, you know. And uh, Swami Ramchandra Das, he stayed in Pondicherry Ashram for 12 years. And he came to Kathmandu, he came to Nepal, actually, he's from Nepal. So after 12 years, he spent a lot of time with Champaklal, a very close aide of Sri Aurobindo. He came to Nepal and he started an ashram. So I got an opportunity because he was visiting the, the remotest part of Nepal. And uh, he, he asked me whether I would like to come. And I, I came with him to the ashram. And ashram was just uh, in its beginning phase. So my life story itself, I think, uh, in a way, it really makes me uh, feel that the kind of education that I got was integral. So when we, when I came here, I was the second child of the organization, actually. So, uh, you know, uh, and Lakshmi Ghimire, she's the first one. She lives now in USA and she comes often here. Um, the ashram was in its beginning phase. Uh, so we just had a thatched roof, a mud house. We didn't have formal teachers. Only Swamiji was there, the founder, you know, he was also very young like us, uh, 33, I think he was 33 when he started. He left uh, the kind of life he was living in Pondicherry because the life in Pondicherry was, he was well established, he was respected there, uh, you know, and he had everything uh, because during that time, the mother and Sri Aurobindo, they had actually 
established a life in the ashram which was extremely modern in that sense you know with a lot of facilities and so on so when he came at the age of 33 he left all that and he started you know building toilet for the first initial few months we were actually going to the toilet just nearby the uh, well, guys, uh... yeah so i mean uh, we... oh, sorry but i've lost your voice can you just uh... can you hear me now yeah can you just uh, go back 5 seconds 5 seven seconds so we yeah. used to go you know to the forest nearby we lived just uh, uh, on the lap of a big hill you know uh, here so for the first few months we used to go like that uh, even for toilet so guruji actually swami ji he he really struggled a lot and he started from basic things and we didn't did not have a formal education in that sense so what we used to do was that you know in the morning we he used to teach us bhagavad gita like we recite mantras and uh, he was quite practical in his teaching like he used to bring all the tools and various different things and he used to show us because english was a big thing that time you know nobody used to learn english uh, uh, during those days i mean people started learning english at the age of 12 13 14 so he used to bring hammers he used to bring notebooks he used to say what is this what is that and so on and then during the day we used to have seva a lot of seva like i was 4 years old 4 5 and we did not have water nearby so we had to fetch water from a tap nearby you know we had to walk about uh, like 500 meters to 1 kilometer to get water so every day we used to get water that was our job you know 2 liters whatever i mean we were like in the beginning we were like few and whatever we could do you know we we were always serving them in in that way and uh, slightly older ones they used to go to the jungle to fetch firewood so it was a very traditional kind of gurukula you see but the, the the objective was really high although we were doing really mundane things like you know cleaning in the morning a little bit of struggle we used to go collect firewood prepare chapatis you know uh, go to the uh, go to nearby pond get some water and so on but what guruji instilled in that was the highest aspiration you see the spiritual aspiration the the karma yoga the essence of karma yoga whatever you are doing you think that you are doing for the divine you think that you think you what when you do something it is for your growth of consciousness and that kind of you know that kind of uh, mentality he brought in us so even though we were tired you know when we were children of course we didn't understand what meditation was we had to sit for meditation in the evening <laughs> we had to sit for like one hour we used to get tired and we used to knock our head on the floor sometimes like this but guruji always focused see life comes with struggle if you want to you know know more there is always a price that you have to pay and he was at times really strict with discipline and so on and that was important part of during those days i used to feel okay what is this maybe i i mean this is too much and so on i mean mentally i guess all of you also felt like that <laughs> probably you know during your childhood but now i understand what that made me you know that really shaped me to think in a way that you know commitment and sacrifice is all is the most important thing if you are aspiring for something if you are aspiring to do something better in life so that was you know like everything was part of our life from playing football you know we did not have football during the initial days we did not get real football we used to make football of our own we used to you know put some clothes here and there make a ball and play you know we did not have shoes we did not have slippers also at times you know it was too cold in kathmandu during those days but there was always there was always this energy that was guiding you know there was guru there was a person who was behind us leading us you know some day everything is going to come into place and so that is what my real understanding of integral yoga is uh, rather than philosophy you see uh, going through those hard times going through easy times taking those moments as an inspiration as as a as a way to inculcate something that is deeper within us to discipline ourselves 
So that, that is my understanding of integral education. Of course, now the school has really changed a lot. It's no more like my time. Uh, we have uh, everything in order. We have a good school, good infrastructure. Students, they don't have to go outside. They can live inside hot water, cold water, you know, washing machine, uh, playground. Of course, playground is still on the way. Uh, it's, not, it's not really materialized the way we want, but it's, it, it, it's coming. Uh, everywhere it's pitched, it's clean, uh, good meditation hall, good dining hall, everything is done. But still, even now also students, they participate in seva, seva for, you know, for our inner growth. Seva not really to impress anyone, not really to, you know, uh, uh, you know, show that, oh, I can do this, I can do that. But rather, you know, you, you just take your seva as a source, as a, as a way to, you know, develop the inner world that is within us that is within you. So that's how we, we train our children. That's how we also work. We try at least. Of course, it's not going to come every day. It's not going to happen at every moment, but that is always, you know, guiding us and leading us. So in that way, you know, we connect that to Sri Aurobindo's philosophy of the, 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 the development of different five different aspects of our life. You know, the, the, the mind, the body, the uh, body, the physical, you know, the vital, the spiritual, the psychic, and so on. And that happens through these various different activities, the art that you do, the, 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 the uh, creative work that you participate in, the seva, that seva, you know, work that you do, uh, the intellectual work like reading, writing, and so on, all of those things. So all of these things really build all the five elements that Sri Aurobindo talks about and and helps you uh, to discover more and more and realize how beautiful we are within ourselves. So I think that's that's really something that uh, I feel as my experience with integral education. Okay, so this we say that discipline is also needed, commitment is also needed. Education is not always easy, right? There will be challenges in it. You have to do your job, you have to do your job, you have to do your job. You are actually building yourself. Right? So that is something that is major takeaway. For example, you said about meditation, but you have to do it. Not to give up. Because what happens is that we can't understand what we have now, and we will understand so much that, my God, this is what shaped me. That's what you realize, you know, that, that moment of epiphany, that moment of realization. Okay, why am I able to experience something at a much deeper level? Why, how, I mean, the kind of love that you can share with others does not come just like that. You know, because we are covered with so many different things, our own desires, our own ambitions, because all of you are working in an organization, all of you have big ambitions for sure. But at moments, you have to sacrifice your ambitions to do something good for the society, you see. You have to tackle, you have to really, you know, you have to really confront your ego yeah, and so on. There are so many different things, but that is what really makes you, you know, capable. If if you practice meditation from young age, if you if you try to discipline yourself yourself from young age. Thank you so much for sharing that part, especially for uh, uh, young generation, especially OSS fellows who are joined who have joined today. That is the takeaway from Veda. Today also I was not well from morning. I was thinking, okay, maybe I should give that responsibility to someone. Maybe I I will take some rest and only join for the, you know, for this talk. But I said, see, this is a never ending journey. Uh, what happens, you will, you will get stronger and stronger. Stronger, not in the sense of ego, but you feel responsible towards what you are doing. You feel joy in what you are doing. Even if you are sick, you know, you really want to do something. So this is a practice and it takes a lot of time to, you know, build that. So why not start today? That's the thing. Okay. So uh, with the, this kind of education, you shared about uh, the way you were brought up, right? So those things will be impacting you today. 
in many forms like for example you shared about today only ki aap nahi jana chahte the but you told your mind that no mujhe jana hai jana hai so aaj aapki jo upbringing hui hai wo kaise aapko help kar rahi hai the discipline and the kind of education that you have got if you can share such examples ki how you have become a better person because of such education of today's example bachpan ke examples you shared but right. if you can share today's example any sir so uh, when i started working as the director of the school of course i have been teaching since uh, quite young and i i um, i took over the school as a director at the age of 24 uh, and uh, and what what uh, you know how was i able to you know uh give probably uh what i wanted to the children the kind of uh, attitude that i wanted to share to create in this school is because of what i have learned what i was trained you see we had to when i was young we had to like we had different groups and uh, guruji used to give us like okay you will lead here so when we were constructing school we had a lot of stones that had mud on it right so we had to clean it in order to use it to concrete so guruji used to give us a pile of you know stones so we had to throw the the, the stones on the pile from the pile to another pile so we had to throw for a couple of hours and guruji used to give me a, 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 that responsibility okay you lead certain number of people so uh it was a challenge of course not everybody would want to join and not everybody w- would want to finish it fast we wanted to play also once we finished the job but you had to find a way you know you had to find natural way to come up with uh, something that really motivated others at the same time and of course you had to put the maximum work because if you want to do something you can't say that the others are not doing so i am not going to do you have to be the first one you have to put more effort and energy that's what i realized when i was young and that is what i am actually practicing at the moment here now even now also if i want to change something if i want to do something i know that it has to be it has to come from me and so whether there is a project people are willing to come forth but sometimes what happens is they are hesitant they don't know whether things will work you know they are not sure whether this is the way but if you put your energy people will come and join you so that is how we are building we are working i understand students really well these days you know some students they need a different treatment some students they need different treatment they come from various different backgrounds we have our own challenges because we are not working with uh, students from you know really uh, uh, well to do families uh, some students they they have never been educated some parents they have never gone to school they have worked as laborers and uh, they have they have acquired i mean laborers in the sense you know because they, they they are they are used to the language that is not really uh, you know helping them to grow so when they come they the students they they continue with the same language and that again pollutes the whole school environment you know somehow you and all of these things you have to play with playing with those challenges finding the right uh, hitting the right chord you know it, coming with novel ideas coming with you know being spontaneous at your work i think that is what i have uh, really learned from uh, my childhood so that uh, that that plays a significant role in the way i uh, uh i work here at the moment so shuruaat usse hi hone wali hai koi aur aane wala nahi hai madad karne ke liye phir bhi mujhe kaam karte hi jana hai that is the take away uh, yes. from uh, what you shared so uh, here we have a conflict so on one hand you like in web idec we heard a lot about democratic education freedom should be given to children unko azadi deni chahiye they should be given the right to choose and stuff and on the other hand uh, the disciplined education you know the right. education that you talked about the education that you have had aapne jo education diya hai to dono mein like 
as we understand both are important we cannot say that one is not right so how do you balance both aap uh, educate kar rahe ho bahut sare bachcho ko so how do you balance both in your school like how does that work to so, ye yeah, i mean uh like you might have come across various different uh, explanations on democratic education you see so i'm not particularly uh, you know like i don't say that our school is democratic in that sense because there are i mean there's no one definition of democracy you know or what democratic system means and in and of itself there are a lot of uh, issues that are unresolved so in the western world i mean i have visited various different schools in the in the west and i've uh, also interacted with people some people what they say is that you know you give all the freedom children will realize on it, on their own yes that is really a noble idea very, very good thing a time will come when everybody has to realize because there is a natural you know impulse each human being each uh, each of us carry within ourselves so there is this in vedas there is uh, uh, the mention the first shloka sh- says that agni mire purohitam there is an agni that is within us there is a fire that is always burning that is always guiding us towards uh, towards uh, something that is higher for that children will realize and then they will ac- accordingly they will you know change their life but at the same time our journey if we want to simplify our journey because at the moment the, the there are a lot of distractions you see if we do not train our mind what can happen is this this evolution this evolution of human beings this evolution of knowledge the, the, the evolution of our consciousness or children for let's say children for example it will take longer time i mean what's the problem with longer longer time there's no problem there's no problem you see we have come all the way from stone age we have come from animals we have finally become human beings but what is the point in being human what is the point in being conscious if we are not putting our own effort and that that instigation of fire in the children is the job of teacher you see to protect that fire let that fire not be burned down not be extinguished that is the job of the teacher you see and that is what a teacher should do it's not teach it's not that teacher is always saying do this do that do this do that there is a burning fire in students there is something that is telling them to learn and so on but what is happening is because of lot of distractions get a mobile phone scroll up and down finish a day watch a film go here and there you know get interested in eating you know food that is not really healthy what is happening is these things are i think in my opinion these things are really uh, trying to you know cover that fire within them so we are not doing anything we are just you know helping students or young mind uh, in a way that this fire does not get covered you know does not get in get in that uh, you know deep hole they are always fresh they are always uh, you know uh, acquainted to that fire they are always in relation to that fire that is our job so of course it can sound contradictory but uh, i think as a conscious human being i think it's important that discipline is becomes really a big part of our life okay so we all my takeaway would be ki hamara sabke andar potential hai we all have that fire to do something to become something that is great you know but because of our habits because of inability of our mind humko discipline bhi bahut important hai in our life mein taki hum apne mind ko control kar sake because distractions to bahut sare hai that would be my takeaway from your share right because we are conscious because we have something different than you know animals and plants and so on so this we have to make use of that consciousness being conscious makes us different so because we are different i think we can we can go through this journey 
in a much nicer, much happy and much lovely way than, uh, you know, other beings. So, uh, Veda, if I ask you, like, uh, we just heard, you know, that the you from the journey, from the time when the Gurukul was just started to now where the infrastructure of the school and everything is reached a different level, but not in just in terms of that, but the entire process, uh, I'm sure there have been so many challenges which you must have faced the while implementing this entire un unconventional education system in society. So uh, could you tell us a little bit about those challenges which you have fa faced along this entire journey? Because this is a tough thing, you know? Yeah, yes, yes. So the, the one thing that uh, we have succumbed is, is the, the, the pressure of the government. Mm -hmm. We did not really want to establish uh, you know, exam-oriented schools, you know, conventional, I mean, the normal schools where exams are like held regularly and so on, but there was no other option because students, they wanted to continue with, of course, they want to continue with their university education and so on. So government said, with your certificate, we are not going to accept. So you have to fall in line and you have to uh, do as we say. So that is one of the challenges that we have faced. The other challenge is in terms of, uh, you know, manpower. Uh, even, even now also, this is a big challenge at the moment. Um, not many would like to, you know, stay back in the ashram, back in the, I mean, in the school itself, serve, and not many volunteers are willing to come and do things for free. And... Uh, uh, but our philosophy is that, you know, in the school, especially the teachers, teachers are not paid anything because teachers, what we believe is that they should come with this inner desire to make some change, not in expectation of earning money. Of course, their needs are taken care by the, or take, taken care by the organization itself. So because of that, what happens is, of course, the students growing out from our organization they want to explore more world. They have better opportunities outside at the moment. So it's important that they go outside also learn a lot of things and probably come back or probably do something somewhere, you know, that's, that's, that's also good. So right now we don't have, uh, we lack a lot of volunteers in the school. So we have to run here and there. We have to teach a few classes at the same time, manage, you know, you know, uh, you know plan a lot of things. So, a teacher is doing a lot of job actually at, at the same time. Like what is there in the organic farm, selling that in the market, the same teacher is, the same person is teaching Nepali language in the school. So all of us are sharing a lot of responsibility uh, and finding volunteers has been a big problem. And volunteers that, that are willing to stay for a long period of time uh, and also, you know, uh, that is another challenge. The other challenge is uh, uh, we have three centers, actually. You know, we wanted to have three schools in three different uh, centers, but uh, we haven't been able to run a school in other, uh, other centers. So only one school. There's a school, I mean, in, in the other part, uh, the, in the other org, uh, you know, branch. Uh, but uh, not a full-fledged school at the moment. So we, we are only able to run a school here. That is another challenge. The other challenge is, of course, the parents and the students, uh, those who come to the organization to, you know, get educated, to get education and stay here, make their livelihood and, uh, at the same time. So to, uh, to make them understand the philosophy of Sri Aurobindo, the highest aspiration, all of those things are, you know, sorry to say, but it's uh, sometimes really impossible. So it's like you have something that you want to do, you want to bring something that is really somewhere, and uh, you are dealing with uh, parents, and I mean, there's no blame. I mean, no one to blame, but of course, because they, they were not educated, they did not get the opportunity and so on. So therefore, they have no idea of a life, an alternative life. All they understand is how to make money, little bit of money, make livelihood, you know, 
and uh, 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 make their children work somewhere and uh, start getting money and uh, run family. So th there is this difficulty, you see. Like personally for me also, when I'm too much with, uh, with, with the family members or with the people, I sometimes my energy drains out. And sometimes I feel, to be honest, you know, uh, sometimes I feel, I mean, how to go ahead or, I mean, is this a wrong way or is this a wrong path and so on. But then again, you, you know, you relate yourself with the teachings of Mother and Sri Aurobindo. You have been given a duty. You have been given some work. Now, there's no running away. If you run away from something, you keep running away. You can, you can do what you want through what you have to do. And uh, I mean, the idea of finding a job that you love is a great idea, you see. But uh, to love what you have to do is hard. <laughs> you know, and uh, that's what we are practicing. And it's hard for me, even now also, I, I really try to love what I'm doing. Sometimes when I get distracted, sometimes when I am, when I feel, oh my God, what am I doing here? So that is a continu continuous process. So yes, parents and uh, the background of the parents, the government and uh, the, the, the curriculum and so on, these are some challenges that we've been facing. So the society at large, it's very tough for them to accept this uh, unconventional education system. They cannot see the bigger picture. That is, and it will be an ongoing tough journey ahead. For Extremely. You. Really, really, I, I think uh, uh, even for students, those who have grown up, uh, like those who stay here for a couple of years, and the older students, they get it, but uh, those who spend only a few years, they find it that what's the point, you see? Mm. And uh, I mean, the whole world is running after money, uh, to be honest. Money will come, resources will come. All we need is faith in ourselves that whatever we, we are doing is something beautiful, something really, really, uh, you know, fruitful, something that can help us grow. So, uh, you know, something that need not be thought about is thought too much at the moment. So holding, you know, ourselves together <laughs> is difficult because uh, the, the, the money, the, 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 the kind of life people live outside, the, the celebrity life these days, you know, and so on, is really attractive. So, I mean, hardly people want to come to the ashram, spend time, you know, spend time with kids. What am I going to get? That's the question everybody has. You're not going to get anything materially, maybe. Materially also, you might get. But there, I'm sure you will get what you need. All we need is faith, uh, but uh, yeah, that's a challenge. Yeah, so uh, in terms of the children as well, you know, it, we also, I'm sure that these challenges for the children who are with you uh, to continuously keep on showing them that bigger vision, that itself also must be a tough uh, task for you. Yes, yes, difficult one. Uh, like when we have certain like we have some responsibilities each child gets a responsibility like for four, 15 to 20 minutes or half an hour maximum one hour in the morning they have to you know clean the corridor or they have to you know help uh, in the kitchen or they have to help in the school with a little bit of work you know uh, the students those who have finished their 10th standard they also help a little bit with the children and so on so there is always, we have always discourses, we have meditation, we have inspirational, you know, stories and so on that uh, always, you know, keeps them on track in a way. But uh, it's a big challenge. It's really a big challenge. Like in the, uh, every Friday we have meditation before we start school. So, you know, uh, we read Bhagavad Gita, we read the mantras and so on because Children, they love repeating things. They love reciting uh, mantras and shlokas. So, Bala shlokas. In Bala shloka, they, you know, they repeat some mantras like, you know, uh, Sukham Bhavat, uh, 
the gist of the, the shloka is, you know, children, I mean, vidyarthi, who is a vidyarthi? Vidyarthi is someone who is in equanimity, whether it's painful or whether it's happiness or sorrow or whatever it is, or joy or whatever it is. And where, no matter what the circumstances are, no matter what the situation is, a true vidyarthi is always aspiring for knowledge. You see, when they repeat these things, these are like affirmations, you see, they really make them, uh, you know, connect more and more towards those ideals. So yeah, uh, and of, of course, in the activities also, like when they enter a meditation hall, they have to arrange sleepers properly, you know, one after the other. What is the point in that? They become conscious in what they are doing. And if if something goes wrong, the other child comes and, you know, uh, puts them together, puts them in order. So, you know, these small, small activities may seem really insignificant. Well, but when we do something properly for a long period of time, it becomes your sadhana. It becomes a way to, you know, uh, to realize the inner consciousness it really purifies you. So uh, I think uh, it's a challenge, but that is the way, I think. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. That is, that is truly the way. Koi saath de na de, par jo hume achcha lagta hai, jo joyful hamari journey hai, jo hamari sadhna hai, jo sahi manne mein vidyarthi ka jo shabd arth hai, वो आपने इतनी खूबसूरती से हमें समझाया सो बहुत ही बहुत ही आई थिंक हमारे जो हमारे ऑडियंस में जो बच्चे हैं जो सुन रहे हैं जो सिमिलर चैलेंजेस और उनकी मन में जो दुविधाएं होती हैं तो वो उनको भी समझ आ रहा है कि ट्रू एजुकेशन में यही है कि अपने आप को हर दिन हर रोज कैसे बेहतर बनाया जाए और इस ऐसा लगता है कि ये क्यों हम कर रहे हैं किस इसकी इसका कारण क्या है वजह क्या है लेकिन उसके पीछे जो बहुत बड़ा आगे जर्नी है वो बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है जो करते रहना है तो वो वो बहुत बहुत आगे तक लेके जाता है बच्चों को तो आप ये जो ब्यूटीफुल एक्सपीरियंसेस है बच्चों के साथ जो आप काम करते हैं और इनके साथ आपको इतनी खुशी मिलती है तो सम वन और टू ब्यूटीफुल एक्सपीरियंसेस इफ यू कैन शेयर विद अस ऑफ वर्किंग विद दीज चिल्ड्रेन Like you just shared one, but one, one or two more, so that the you know the youth who are listening to us, they they can also get to hear one or some stories from you. Um, I mean, uh, I think every moment is really precious. Uh, of course, uh, like uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe I don't have a lot of time to reflect upon, you know, the the smiles behind these children and the, the kind of laughter they bring. But uh, on like special functions, like today, when I see them dance, it really brings tears on in my eyes. You know, I get watery eyes because this, uh, like, I just, uh, I mean, I, as I told you, there was a function just before this yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah. I was just watching a small girl uh, called Lakshmi. She was dancing. She is like this big, probably. She was dancing, you know. And she looked at my, my, my eyes. She looked at me and she was smiling. I also smiled and she was like, she got so much of energy and she started, you know, she's such a vibrant girl. So, I mean, that's a wonderful experience. You know, when, when you look at their eyes, when, we, when you look at their face and if they, uh, the kind of happiness they bring is immeasurable, immeasurable. And, uh, you know, like students, the kind of responsibility that students take because they have seen, they have, they have, uh, you know, they have, uh, they have gone through that phase themselves. Like today, the, the, most of the programs were organized by students of class eight, nine, and 10. Wow. They, they were working till late 11 o'clock in the evening. They were finding different tools. If so, somebody came and asked me, but they, they call me Dai, I am brother to them, you see. And uh, the, uh, one student, he came and asked me, Dai, I want a laptop. 
and they had already gotten one laptop they wanted another laptop just to use that uh, that laptop in their drama i said use whatever you have been given we don't have extra laptops and it's it's i mean i told them so what did they do they did not get upset they did not get upset because i did not give them something they're happy okay they they said okay they i will find another one another solution okay maybe i can use a notebook as a laptop you see that is the kind of children that uh, we are bringing up and they went fine they they got something if they had one laptop there was another one uh, i think they they used a, a kind of wood slightly slanted wood you know they connected like this and they they just did their drama finished they were running here and there for the past one week organizing a lot of things you know finding different tools finding different people from where from whom they can take help to you know uh, to uh, you know uh, the, the whole performance drama performance prepare that uh, dance and so on we have professional teachers but uh, children they were taking a step ahead you know they were taking a step to organize themselves they were teaching dance you know a, a, a young girl of 14 years old she had choreographed a, a song a, a dance in nepali it was such a beautiful dance and that too with students of the age 4 5 6 7 imagine the kind of hard work they had put so these are beautiful moments mm-hmm. and like when we go for picnic you see everybody is having a child on their lap they are happy to have someone beside them they are not they are not like sitting by themselves okay where will the children go where will the children go they they want to have a child on their lap because we we generally have a small bus so we need someone who i mean if there are a lot of uh, you know participants or if there are a lot of students then we need someone to hold them on their lap so you know it may seem very small but this is the quality that they are getting this is what they are growing as human beings to sacrifice a little bit sacrifice a little bit of comfort to do something good for others and that will translate into something that is really huge really big and i truly believe that they are going to be the future leaders and they are most of the students are first time school goers things can change rapidly for sure i mean look at the change but we have to be able to see at the same time also as teachers because sometimes we have too much of hopes and we are not able to see those changes that is happening in the children so yeah these are my beautiful uh, experiences with working with the children this is a this is a lovely example of the importance of uh, community living and how it helps to instill you know the sense of unity and identity for these children because they all bond together as one community and that generates the power within them as well right. so yeah so that is uh, wonderful you know for them but as a principal i'm sure uh, you know all these years you've had uh, joyous uh, beautiful experiences but there have been some experiences which have been very moving for you you know um which have uh, cemented your belief you know in spite of all the you know tough situations and challenges like we talked about a moving experience which helped cement your belief that okay this is you know the work i am doing and the path that i have taken you know no matter how tough it is and who koi saath de raha hai nahi de raha hai society mein problem government ke saath problem par ye karte rehna hai keep on moving ahead aise koi you know moving a quick ki hai event ya experience aapki life mein jo bahut dil ko chhu gaya ho you know at that point something you can maybe reflect or maybe remember at like this point ha uh, yeah um i mean now i am quite comfortable facing challenges because uh, i have grown as a person correct but uh, when i was like 24 25 you know uh, uh i mean uh, from uh, university days itself i did not have uh, i did not want to do a jo- I, i mean I, i was not job oriented i did not want to you know get into a company and uh, make some living and have a very comfortable life 
help my family and so on. I wanted to do something that uh, Guruji was already doing, you know, something in, in those terms. But uh, like 24, 25, when I started working more and more, you know, um, giving more time to the children, I felt at times that I was alone in, in that sense, you know, like uh, maybe, you know, I was like, I was like, I was feeling whether it's really fruitful and kabhi kuch karna hai, kisi ko bolo, kisi ko, kisi ka hap, I mean, you ask for help, okay. but uh, I mean, they're also not interested, you know, sometimes you have, uh, you want to change something, so you have to really go with a bit of force, sometimes, sometimes to be frank, you have to use your anger as a tool also. Uh, so when you are angry, of course, you lose a lot of your energy, you know, and uh, then a bit bad me kya hota hai, karna hai, nahi karna hai, you feel lonely, you feel like maybe if I live my own life, it's going to be much easier, you know, make my own living and have a secure kind of life. Because the kind of life that we live in the ashram is if you have to feel secure from women, if the kind of life that you have to live in the ashram it can only be lived if you feel secure from women, because neither do you have any insurance, neither you are paid in any way, you are given what you need. You see, if you want a laptop, of course you will get a laptop. If you want, to, I mean, if you need need-based uh, requirement, I mean, need-based, you know, it's all need-based. So externally, it may not seem that your life is secure, but if you truly believe in your work, you feel secure. So sometime of you, what is it that it will go down? Is it or not? It will go down. Because somebody gives you responsibility, you do, you give your best, and suddenly everything breaks down. Yeah, I mean, it's all finished. You feel that you are lonely. You feel as if you want to <laughs> probably cry, but you require that source of inspiration. Life may sabko aata hai. This happens to everyone. This happens to everyone, whether you are working in a company, whether you are working in a in a firm, whether you are, you have a, a family, it comes. Like in usko attitude mein thoda paribartan, it happens slowly and slowly because I had this, that background of, you know, spiritual life. Sab kuch karna hai, karo, lekin maa ko chhod do. Shri Arbind ko chhod do. Everything will be taken care of. Abhi usme, usme bar bar kahane se, you, you tell yourself again and again, you meditate on that, you give your best, the more you practice. And finally, what happens is you come to a, uh, come to a point where everything seems to be okay. You know, uh, you put your hard work, you make, you give your best to make changes. And I mean, you are willing to accept blames also, you know, you don't get hurt in the way that, uh, you know, uh, in the way that it could have happened quite some time back. So what to practice it? Because these challenges are going to come. And even these days also, I face challenges on a daily basis, especially in the school, if you want to bring about some change or if you, you know, if you need to make something happen and you need help of someone, there is a challenge because human interaction is a big challenge. Human management is a big, big challenge. What you believe, I am not going to believe. What I believe, the other person is not going to believe. The thing that you think is the right way, the other per person is not going to think that's the right way. So it's all give and take. It's all give and take. So aspiration ke liye to us time mein, us jatil time mein, I think rather than your own courage, rather than your own strength, I think it has, you have to rely on, a, on the strength that is greater than you yourself, you see. Because how much energy do we have? You know, we are all limited human beings. We have, we are always, you know, flickering with our own desires, our own things. So, usko chhod ke, thik hai, maa, 
मदर टेक केयर ऑफ वट आई एम गोइंग थ्रू बाद में वो सब ठीक हो जाएंगे श्री अरविंद एंड मदर दे आर दे आर लाइक द सोर्स यू नो सो सो आई थिंक एवरी चाइल्ड शुड बी टॉट टू हैव फेथ इन दैट हायर कॉन्शियसनेस द बिगर पावर that is what i call as faith it is not a religious kind of teaching you see it is not it is not based on religion you believe in someone okay you have to pray you have to do is no kiske liye karna hai whatever you do whether you are taking care of your son whether you are taking care of your child i mean of your mother whether you are taking care of someone who is orphan whether you are taking care of your student whether you are taking care of your guru instill that aspiration instill that attitude you know that uh, that makes you f- feel that you are doing it for uh, the 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 divine the the god or whatever you prefer to say i think that's the kind of life that uh, that can that, that that gives you a lot of strength the inner strength comes from that from the self belief yeah. and the higher purpose that you are headed towards so yeah that that's wonderful but uh, you already kind of gave a little message to you know we have a lot of teachers facilitators educators in the audience bahut se parents bhi hai jo sun rahe hain hamare youngsters you know jo bacche hain jo unconventional path pe they have uh, walked was started their journey with oasis movement the parents are listening so Uh, a small message even though you just to reiterate again what you just said to the teachers and the parents who are listening to us today uh, that would really help you mean in terms of challenges. challenges in terms of the journey and the path that they have taken and the unconventional path they are so, going to face challenges like you said it's how they should you know the self belief has to be maintained the higher purpose has to be kept in mind the needs versus wants which all human beings are you know always uh, struggling with ye chahiye par ye zarurat nahi hai so a combination of everything and then parents you know for them it's very tough when children choose the path of uh, uh, development sector social work you know it's considered like you said it's tough when you find you're t- finding tough to get volunteers uh but you know even as a as a proper uh, if you choose this as a journey for life it's not a, you start as a volunteer and then it becomes your life so for them as well you know sometimes uh, they think okay social sector is like little hobby past time hai baad mein you know they'll yeah. find another career <laughs> if for uh, if for youth who want to choose this as the career they want to dedicate their life uh, to the social cause you know uh, some guidance or a message you want to give them um yeah i, I mean uh, i i mean all of us have different challenges for sure but uh, what i can say is human life in general is a challenge nobody is uh, I think devoid of any challenges. Cost to sabko bhogna to hai life mein. Uh, unconventional logon ko cost aur adhik bhogna hai aur jaldi bhogna hai. To jaldi bhogna better hai. Dekhi. Jaldi bhog bhog ke usko sam samajne se your life is going to be much more beautiful. because you understand things in a different way at an early age whereas if you were walking in a conventional path you would probably realize at the age of 80 or 60 and then you would say oh my god what did i do i wasted my whole life i wanted to do something but i could not i wish cas i had another few decades you you don't want to live such a life so भोगना है खुशी खुशी भोगना है पूरा हैप्पीनेस के साथ भोगना है फाइंड फ्रेंड्स दोज आर दो वॉकिंग द पाथ दैट यू हैव टेकन शेयर विद देम बी हैप्पी यू नो गिव 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 बिकॉज द आर्ट ऑफ गिविंग द मोर यू गिव द मोर टाइम यू गिव द मोर एनर्जी दैट यू स्पेंड ऑन अदर्स विदाउट एनी एक्सपेक्टेशन इज वॉट इज गोइंग टू गिव यू दैट स्ट्रेंथ इज दैट दैट इज वॉट इज गोइंग टू गिव यू हैप्पीनेस 
always keep that higher purpose like tina ji was saying at right here every time you stumble upon problems kabhi problem ho gaya no i am not for this one i have my another aspect my my aim is this my 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 purpose is this ha kabhi chhodne ko man karta hai remember your purpose ha लोभ लालच आ जाता है समबडी वन ऑफ योर फ्रेंड प्रोबेबली जस्ट पास्ड फ्रॉम बोथ ऑफ यू पास्ड फ्रॉम अ गुड यूनिवर्सिटी वन इज अर्निंग प्रोबेबली मिलियंस ऑफ डॉलर्स लिविंग अ लाइफ यू नो ट्रैवलिंग हियर एंड देयर यू नो पोस्टिंग ऑल ब्यूटीफुल पिक्चर्स एंड सो ऑन लाइफ में दैट इज नॉट रियली समथिंग दैट इज दैट इज गोइंग टू गिव यू हैप्पीनेस सोशल मीडिया में तो सब कुछ हैप्पी है लाइफ के अंदर भीतर क्या है वो तो हम नहीं जानते so we have to really learn the art of accepting accepting challenges kasht to bhogna hai kasht khushi khushi bhogna hai like i said you know be make make friendship with those challenges make friendship with those problems and what happens is you will realize that they are in fact not your problems they are actually a stepping stones stone you know uh, towards your success towards a much greater गोल दैट यू है तो ये तो करना ही है करना है प्रॉब्लम से मत भागना है भागना तो नहीं है आई हैव फेस माय ओन प्रॉब्लम्स यू विल फेस योर ओन प्रॉब्लम्स द अदर पर्सन इज गोइंग टू फेस टीना जी इज गोइंग टू फेस हर ओन प्रॉब्लम जय जी इज गोइंग टू फेस हर ओन प्रॉब्लम ऑल ऑफ अस हैव आवर ओन प्रॉब्लम्स ऐसा क्यों कहां पे जाएंगे बाकी दूसरा प्रॉब्लम भोगना भोगने के लिए तैयार पड़ना पड़ना पड़ता है वहां पे भी प्रॉब्लम है सो we have to really get the mastery over those problems and make them friends make them really good friends the way is unconventional life is is really wonderful life lekin wo purpose ko purpose ko achhi tarah se usme faith hona chahiye usme we have to have constant faith we have to recall we have to believe that this is what this is where my happiness lies wo to dhoondna padega if you can't find just because somebody is saying so if you are continuously doing without you know inquiring yourself maybe it's going to be difficult but samajhna to padega that is the thing i think it's so that sandesh ke chunautiyon se dosti khushi khushi unka samna karo aur andar apni awaaz ko pehchano ki aapko kis cheez se khushi milti hai aur aage badhte raho तो so, ये बहुत ही खूबसूरत संदेश आपने दिया बच्चों के लिए टीचर्स के लिए पेरेंट्स के लिए सबके लिए ये जरूरी है तो so, बहुत बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट है हमारे सबके लिए तो आई एम सो हैप्पी दैट यू कुड टेल अस ऑल अबाउट दिस आई कैन सी ऑल ऑफ यू स्माइलिंग सो आई रियलीयर so uh veda as we can see you are uh, not quite young bahut young and aapne bahut kam umar mein like at the age of 24 aapne principal ki or director ki position aapne sambhali thi school mein so itni kam umar mein itna bada commitment dena i mean you could have had a glorious career uh, in corporate you know you're quite competent as we can see aapke bahut abilities hain आप बहुत कुछ कर सकते थे शायद दूसरे कंट्री जा सकते थे बहुत बड़ी जॉब ले सकते थे I mean, you could have, बहुत सारा पैसा भी कमा सकते थे नाम भी कमा सकते थे बट यू चूज टू वर्क ऑन दिस बात बट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज एट सच ए यंग एज इतनी कम उम्र में आप डिसाइड किया तो क्या चीज सोच के महसूस करके आपने ये डिसीजन किया था वॉट मेड यू डेडिकेट योर लाइफ फॉर दिस कॉल um uh, i think uh, the credit goes to my up- upbringing i guess because uh, from young age itself i think um, like uh, when i actually i i, I was educated in uh, uh, in in india i was in bangalore i spent four years there and then i went to germany for three years and then i returned back to so, uh, I mean, दिमाग में एक तो था कि आई वु वॉन्ट टू लिव अ टिपिकल फैमिली लाइफ दैट वॉज सर्टन फॉर मी वॉट एवर आई डू 
it should be more about giving. It should be more about more the, the kind of life I lived in the ashram. That was certain for me. Because somehow I felt that 10 to 4 job or ye, ye mere ko anand nahi dene wala hai. Wo unconventional kind of attitude was there in me. Uh, to baad mein, uh, when I came back, it was, I mean, things just happened spontaneously, I guess. There was no particular day or time or a year where, when I decided, okay, maybe I should get into this or that or that. Because I had, uh, I did not have many alternatives in my mind, in my heart, actually. I wanted to do this. I was happy. Uh, I, I really was happy with what Guruji was doing. And I really wanted to be with him, work with him. And spiritual, spiritual life was always part of my, you know, uh, that was always happening. Whether I was in India, I was always was, you know, friends with people who were more spiritual. And in Germany also, I was uh, spending a lot of time reading books and so on and so forth. So, yeah. So, yeah, I think uh, it's all like, uh, it just happened, I would say. Jai Jai. Okay, so, the seeds were planted We can say that the seeds were stored in I, I guess so. I guess so. I think uh, I think that's where it lies because I did not make a great transition mentally. You know, let me do this or that. I think it was slowly sown in me uh, uh, because of the kind of life I lived in the ashram and the kind of constant, uh, you know, <laughs> guidance of Guruji. This is the kind of life that is fruitful. This is how you should live. And uh, he was always telling us all those things. So. Uh, so वो तो दिमाग में बन गया था कि लाइफ uh, में कुछ अंतर की खोज भी करना पड़ेगा और it should be it should not be only about my family it should not be only about my children it should be I should be able to see everyone as my own children that was the kind of uh, thought process that Guruji had instilled in most of us in the ashram yeah so uh, ये जो जर्नी रही है आपने बोला कि बहुत नेचुरली आपने ये जर्नी वॉक की है बट ये जर्नी में कुछ ऐसे टाइम भी आए होंगे जब यू नो थोड़ा वी डाउट आवर सेल्फ हमारे कमिटमेंट को डाउट करते हैं हां वो तो क्या मैं क्या मैं सही रास्ते पे जा रहा हूं दुनिया वाले क्या बोल रहे हैं बता दे हां वो तो वो तो आया अभी भी आता है कभी-कभी तो कैसे आप डील करते हो इसमें लाइक ऐसे कोई इंसिडेंट आप शेयर कर सको अभी तो अभी तो थोड़ा सॉलिड हो गया है कि वेर एवर आई गो नो मैटर इन एनी पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सेवा तो लोगों की ही करना है सेवा तो समाज का ही करना है दैट्स द काइंड ऑफ लाइफ दैट आई वुड वांट टू लिव अ कम्युनिटी लाइफ आई आई कांट इवन इमेजिन लिविंग अ अ टिपिकल फैमिली लाइफ फॉर श्योर लेकिन डाउट तो होता है व्हेन वी व्हेन यू इंटरैक्ट विद पीपल व्हेन यू गेट टू नो पीपल आई मीन व्हेन यू स्पेंड सम टाइम विद पीपल अराउंड यू they have different interests and uh, you kind of you expect some help from these people and they want to they, they want to do something else you know they want to live another life so capable people of course so us time mein thoda idhar udhar ho jata hai and uh, what it tells me is that veda you need you abhi sadhana aur karna hai wo kehta hai सावना अभी खत्म नहीं हुआ है और करना है कीप वॉकिंग तो होता है वो तो फ्लिकरिंग तो होता रहता है अभी भी हो जाता है पहले पहले तो और ज्यादा होता था बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ माई फ्रेंड सम फ्रेंड्स आर स्टडिंग इन आई मीन दे देव बिकम प्रोफेसर दे हैव दो विथ होम आई हैव स्टडीड एंड लिविंग वेरी डिफरेंट लाइफ और When they ask me, तुम क्या करता है <laughs> वो तो ए फॉर एपल बी फॉर बॉल करता है <laughs> बोलना पड़ता है लेकिन मोमेंट नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम आई एम रियली है sometimes things don't go the way you want because abhi to i am young so i want things to change really fast 
<laughs> oh, actually, Jeevan Mithunai was that I, I, I started to understand these things now. It takes many, many years, and sometimes you know you have to, uh, you have to adapt. You have to because you have because you are living in a community. You have to take everyone together. You see, you can't force things. Okay, yehi hota hai, yehi hota hai. Even though uh, their ideas, you know that they are not going to work, or whatever they are saying is not really true. But you have to give them some time so that they understand. You see. So, sometimes when I don't understand those things, when I don't understand people, I, I really kind of find myself in a frustrated position. But in bad me, though, then I understand. See, that person came through those problems, and now he understands, or he or she understands me. So it's all about time. So yeah, yeah. Sometimes impatience. Sometimes you know, jaldi baaji hoda ho jata hai, because change nahi aata hai na. So result bahar dikhne mein nahi aata hai. Change to hota rehta hai. There is a change that is happening, but it does not appear outside. You see, wo jab appear nahi hota hai, to mind ko hamko lagta hai ki things are not happening. And that is the reason where there is a conflict. You see, things are not happening. What you desire is not compatible with what you want. What you want, and then a lot of problems arise. Lekin usko bhi samajhna padega, usko bhi time dena padega. आई रिमेम्बर अ पोएम दैट वेन आई वॉज यंग आई वॉन्टेड टू चेंज द वर्ल्ड उसके बाद क्या होता है बाद में थोड़ा समझ जाते हैं उसके बाद आई वॉन्टेड वेन आई वॉज वेन आई गॉट लिटल ओल्डर आई वॉन्टेड टू चेंज अ कंट्री वेन आई गॉट लिटल ओल्डर वेन आई गॉट वेन आई वॉन्टेड टू चेंज अ सोसाइटी वेन आई गॉट अ लिटल ओल्डर आई वॉन्टेड टू चेंज अ फैमिली देन स्लोली वेन आई अंडरस्टूड इज दैट आई कैन नॉट चेंज द वर्ल्ड ऑल आई कैन डू इज आई कैन चेंज माई सेल्फ and when i change myself i change the whole world usi usi tarah se life chalta hai to we have to really get those uh, we have to we have to so, work like yeah. so whenever you uh, go through these moments the bpsc moments that you jab aap apne commitment ko doubt karne lago tab aap uh like what you go through internally like spiritually aap uh, how do you deal with it jab doubt aata hai jab doubt aata hai first thing is i never leave my commitment i keep working wo mere ko abhi i believe that because no matter what happens whether you are unhappy whether you are going through distress pain suffering and so on keep working do your seva whatever it has been given to you you continue with the capability that you have at the moment you continue with that that is something that i practice and because of that you know slowly what happens is it heals that pain that wound uh internally to kya lagta hai sometime you like you know like you don't want to continue you know mentally mind says well, what is the point veda you know do something else you have so many different uh, possibilities what's the point you are still young you i mean uh, other people have uh, are also living their life so you can leave and you can go do something else and then what happens is then there are a lot of other supporting ideas that come in your mind you see abhi tum to duniya change nahi kar sakte you you better live your own life you know you start finding various different reasons to support those views you see and uh, but if you spend a bit more time what happens is you try to resist those ideas those things that come and support your alternative ideas you know leaving why you should leave why you should not continue and why you are frustrated why you are going through all distress and so on that possibility that like oh oh dikhata hai na wo kya bolte hain wo jo perfect world perfect world ke liye wo jo bahar se sab kuch If you go there, you will get this. If you go there, you will get this. If you leave this, you will get this. वो perfect world को बहुत चीज support करते हैं mentally. पर बाद में जब if you if you give a little bit of time, then you you start understanding that yeah, even if you leave, problems are going to come with you. You carry your own problems wherever you go. तो 
if you relax for another, I mean, not, not relax in the sense that you give up your work, you continue with your work, but you give your mind a little bit of time. All will be resolved. I think that's how I resolve my problems. Yeah. So, commitment pe aata hai doubt, commitment pe aata hai. All commit kar <laughs> Commitment nahi chhodna hai. We have to keep working. We have to humko reflect karna hai. And uh, shanti se baithna hai apne aapke saath. And kyunki ye khayal to puri zindagi aane wala hai. Perfect zindagi kabhi bhi banne wali nahi. To kuch aur bhi karenge. To bhi uskiriya to aane wali. Aur ye ye chiz bhi samajna samajna hai ki you are capable of doing something that is that your mind does not say. That is perfectly possible. What we believe is, okay, my mind is saying so, I have to do this, or I'm made to do this because of mine. Because I have experienced that. When I don't feel like doing, I still do the same thing. That is perfectly possible. So we have to practice this. You know, young, young students should always practice this. Don't eat it if it's unhealthy. That is perfectly possible. Keep on practicing that, you know, small, small things like, you know, you want to uh, probably, you, you want to be angry uh, with your parents, tell yourself, no, I'm not going to be angry today. Uh, small, take small things and a lot of that, if you, if you keep on practicing with that, you are capable of committing to your work even when you are tired, even when you are, you know, sick, or even when you are not feeling like committing. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So, uh, next question that I have is, Oda, you know, changing the sides because you have youngsters a lot of messages. But as a parent, you also shared that your parents have struggled with them, right? So, a message and advice that you would like to give uh, to all the parents and teachers who have turned up today. Because you have been an educator, because you have been working with children, so and your experience is very important for all the parents and teachers who have turned up today. So any advice that you would give to teachers and parents? Uh, parents, parents generally have only one problem. They are insecure of their children's life. If they are working in a in an unconventional path, right. if they are not re really interested in earning money, if they want to do something for the society, what they think is my son is not going to be not going to have money, he is going to suffer. My daughter is not going to, uh, you know, have a secure life. They are always worried about these things, and the worry is genuine. Yes, everybody worries about their children, but how can you help? How can you help as parents? What how, you have to rely on someone. Life is always like that, you know. Uh, uh, parents can't really provide security to their children. One day you will also go. You will also have to leave this world and leave your children alone. Pesa to security nahi deta hai. If somebody believes that pesa security deta hai, I don't know how. I mean, pesa happiness deta hai. Pesa security deta hai, pesa life deta hai. Wo concept se hum bahar jana chahiye. Or life jis, jisne jiya hai, jisne understand better kiya hai, un logo ke haath mein bachcho ko chhodna hai. Education ke matlab se. You see, if you don't, you have to find people, those who have lived life, those who have lived a happy life, those who understand life. Kyunki as parents, we are busy. We have our own desires for our children. We are running getting money to make our you know, family better and bigger. But there are people who have dedicated to understand life in a much deeper way. Why don't we rely on them? Because they have understood what happiness is. Actually, parents happiness well, jab, till they are 18, take care of them and give them good food, you know, give them good environment. But what is it? 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 What is it
that comes in the hand of gurus, that comes in the hand of knowledge, you know, people who are, who are knowledgeable. So parents, they really need to be in constant, you know, uh, constant uh, touch with the gurus. They have to be in touch with them, uh, the, the teachers, those who have understood life. So that's why in India and Nepal, we are, we have a lot of people who have, who have understood life. You see, we believe in spirituality. We believe in those inner potentials. So I think if you believe in something that is within us, if parents also might have understood by now for sure that paisa to ananda nahi diya, security nahi diya, to phir baad mein bacho ko bhi wohi pe dalna kiyo hai? Aapko anand diya hai, you ask yourself a question. I have earned this much. I have done this. I've got, I've gotten married. I have children. Have I been... Uh, Am I happy now? Ask yourself, if you are not happy, how can you make others happy? How can you make your children happy by asking them to do the same thing, by asking them to repeat the same thing? So children, those who are, those who are working, those who are trading uh, uh, an unconventional route, help them, give them those opportunities. You know, put them in contact with people who have understood life. If I am not happy by doing what I am doing, I am not going to ask my students to do as I am doing. Only if you are happy with your life, you have actually, to be honest, you have the right to tell your child that you should do this or you better do this. If you are not content with your life, if you have not been able to change your life, you have no right. Child will find their own way. So that is, I think, uh, that is how we should take. So, pehle to aapko khushi hona hai. Parents ko khushi pata lagana hai. Hridai ke andar jana hai. Life ko waise nivana hai. Uske baad hum bacho ko shikha sakte hai. But if they are trying to walk a path that is, that we cannot understand, please don't, don't force them to walk the way you want. It's very, very important. And uh, I mean, there are people who have understood life in a much broader way. So, Please do contact and, you know, have, have them uh, as a part of your family life, you know, family kind of thing. So children have that environment. They are not getting only what you say, but they're getting everything from the world. Okay. So message to teachers and parents, let the children sort their way out. Uh, environment provide that, huh? unconventional path be happy in doing that because the thing that supposedly gives happiness doesn't give any kind of happiness. So that would be the message. Or Abham Bahat Sari Hamari young Joe youth up kile bahut saval hai unke pass. So hum thoda sa audience bhi q questions uh allow karte hai is summit. क्योंकि उनके पास भी बहुत आपसे पूछने के लिए इन बहुत देर से वो लोग इंतजार कर रहे हैं तो इफ एनीबॉडी हैज अ क्वेश्चन आप लोग अपना हैंड रेज कर सकते हैं एंड आई विल ओके सो वी ऑलरेडी हैव वी आर हियर आई विल अनम्यूट यू रिया गो हेड एंड आस्क योर क्वेश्चन यस थैंक यू सो मच Hi Veda, this is a really, really amazing talk so far. And I have a question based on the last thing that you said. So it was very, very beautiful how you said how teachers and parents need to understand that they don't own the child. They have given birth, they have given the child their life. So after 18, each parent has this duty to let the child choose what life they want to live. But unfortunately, not all of our parents understand this. And uh, there is still some way that we have to uh, deal with it. And it's not always about money. So uh, it's not always that they want us to make more money. But, you know, they feel that they have to share us. If we have to uh, give time to the world, to other children, of course, the time that we give to our birth family is going to reduce. So they feel that we are not as present in the family as we should be or can be. So it's a very genuine loving concern wherever they want us to, you know, spend more time with them. So what do you do with that? How do you 
distinguish between this responsibility towards your family and responsibility towards the world? How do you do that? Uh, yeah, very, very interesting question because that's exactly what I face also with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> She she lives at the other center and I, ha I hardly talk to her, you know, like on phone also. So he, she calls me and tells me, you don't call me, you for, forget me, you don't have any sense of, I mean, you don't love me and so on. Of course, she's joking, I guess. But what is it that after a little time, the mother and father also has a different experience of love and presence. They are used to this kind of love where you are constantly pampering them, talking to them, you know, calling them again and again. Of course, if they are sick, if they are not well, you have to take care of them. They, they, this is another story. But if they constantly want to have you at home, if they want to feel you, I mean, have feel you at the home or have you at the home, they want to continue the kind of relationship that they had when you were a child, you see. That will definitely have to uh, break away at a certain time. So, usko spontaneously kaise ho jata hai ki once you start giving love to the world, they become part of the world. Love to kisi se den kisi ko dene se kisi ka kam nahi ho jata hai. Love ka nature hi aisa hai na. So, once you start working, they will realize, oh my God, my daughter is giving so much love to everyone. I feel love. They will experience your love even when they are far away from you. You don't have to think too much about, you know, as a responsibility. You do what you feel is right. When they are sick, of course, I'm sure you will go and help them for sure if there is no one. Like when my mother is sick, I don't have to go because there is someone who is going to take care. So my mom has started to understand. He is not going to come. She knows. But she knows that I'm spending time with children, those who really need me. I have someone to take care of me. So what automatically kya ho jata hai ki wo ek love ka experience hi alag ho jata hai. It transcends your physical kind of or emotional, you know, sharing. Once you start doing beautiful work, Love will pour in, you know, mother will experience so much of love that you can't even, you know, measure. So I think that's how you, tum apna kaam karte jao, jo society mein karte rahe ho, I'm sure. To usko karte karte jate, baad mein mother ko, what a beautiful daughter I have. She will feel that love and that love will cure even when she is sick. That's what I mean. Hopefully, thank I'm... you so much. Yeah. Yes, yes, thank you. You answered her question very beautifully. <laughs> so, uh, we move. Thank you for that. And then the love will also go to being proud of the daughter, you know, of the wonderful work that she is doing, right? For the greater cause of society and so many others. So, Lakshmi, uh, I'm going to unmute you. If you have a camera on. Uh, कर सको तो बहुत अच्छा होगा लक्ष्मी कैमरा ऑन करके एक सवाल पूछ लो अपना यस थैंक यू गो हेड यस हेलो यस हेलो सर माय नेम इज लक्ष्मी मेरा ये सवाल था कि uh, मुझे भी uh, सेवा करनी है मुझे भी भारत के लिए uh, काफी कुछ करना है मैं कमिटमेंट भी लेती हूं कि ये तो मुझे करना ही है कोई भी सिचुएशन आए मुझे तो ये करना ही है लेकिन वो फैमिली प्रेशर वो मम्मी वो बोलती है उसे इग्नोर करके भी मैं करती हूँ लेकिन एक थोड़ा सा समय बीतने के बाद मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि जो मुझ में ताकत कमिटमेंट लेने के समय जो ताकत थी ना जो लक्ष्मी कमिटमेंट लेती थी और जो पहले दिनों में जो काम होता है ना वो बा, बाकी के पिछले दिनों में काम नहीं होता वो जो मैं कमिटमेंट लेती हूँ ना वो ढीला पड़ जाता है ऐसा तो मैं क्या करूं कि वही जो पहले दिन मेरा कमिटमेंट रहता है वो लास्ट तक वही कमिटमेंट मेरे अंदर रहे और मैं वही उत्साह पूर्वक काम कर सकूं या ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चन लक्ष्मी 
Beautiful question. Something that I also face regularly because uh, that's how it is. So commitment, jab, uh, commitment, commitment weak ho jata hai, I think the best way is, you know, it will become weak because there are too many forces acting, you know, and too many pressures that, you know, lets you really succumb to all that, all those things. But commitment fear karna, karne se nahi darana hai. You see, when you lose that steam on your commitment, theek hai, theek hai, you have understood, you have realized that commitment to ho, mera commitment thoda kamjor ho gaya. Baad mein jab commitment karne ke time, for example, you, are, you have another responsibility, let's say. You want to do, right? You take commitment again and again, again and again. You keep on taking, you keep that journey, you know, uh, never, never leave that journey of taking commitment. It becomes your habit. It becomes your habit. हम कमिटमेंट लेते हैं वो कमजोर हो जाता है उसके बाद ये तो कमजोर हो जाता है हम क्या क्यों करें कमिटमेंट अब दूसरा काम क्यों करें दैट इज आवर नेचुरल टेंडेंसी यू सी ओह आई एम अ लूजर आई मीन आई कांट डू एनीथिंग दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ मेंटालिटी दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ थॉट दैट गोस इन हां सेवा तो करना है लेकिन मां-बाप का प्रेशर से तो हम कुछ नहीं कर पाएंगे यू कीप ऑन टेलिंग योरसेल्फ दैट राइट कमिटमेंट ढीला हो जाता है एवरीबॉडी फेसेस दैट चैलेंज लेकिन दूसरी बार जब काम शुरू करना है टेक टेक योर वर्क कमिट योर सेल्फ ऑन दैट फिर ढीला हो जाता है फिर कमिटमेंट आता आता है कमिट योर सेल्फ फिर आता है ढीला हो जाता है उसके बाद बात क्या हो जाता है कि बाद में तुम्हारा वो कमिटमेंट जब वो कमजोर होने का जो टाइम पीरियड होने है ना वो एक्सपांड होता जाता है सो इट बिकम स्ट्रांगर एंड स्ट्रांगर इट लास्ट लॉन्गर एंड लॉन्गर वो तो थो, थोड़ा हैबिट बनाना है आई थिंक there is no magic formula to that so wo to like uh, aaj uh, commitment ek din ke liye raha dusra din kamzor ho gaya to if you take another commitment if you don't lose your hope on that you take commitment for i mean you will be committed for two days and then third day you will lose steam another one fourth day you lose steam fifth day you lose steam wo karte 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 lifelong commitment ho jata hai तो कमिटमेंट कमिटमेंट लेने के लिए प्लीज यू नो डोंट डोंट हेजिटेट कमिटमेंट लेना है करना है कमजोर हो गया ठीक है फिर कमिटमेंट करना है आई थिंक दैट्स व्हाट दैट्स द वे आई डू यू नो अभी भी होता है व्हेन आई वांट टू डू समथिंग टू थ्री डेज के बाद ये तो टू डिफिकल्ट है प्रोबेबली आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डू और कभी मेरे को दूसरा रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी मिलता है देन आई थिंक अबाउट माय पास्ट एक्शन मैंने कमिटमेंट किया था लेकिन वो कमजोर होता जाएगा मे बी आई विल नॉट टेक एनी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एनी मोर व्हाट्स द पॉइंट दैट्स हाउ आई आल्सो थिंक बट देन नो लेट मी टेक इट अगेन लेट मी सी हाउ फार आई कैन गो इट्स एन एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन योरसेल्फ सो ऐसे करना है आई थिंक कमिटमेंट करने की आदत डाल लो तो थैंक यू सो मच अफीफा जी मैं आपको यहाँ से अनम्यूट करती हूँ आप अपना सवाल पूछे अफीफा जी एक कश्मीर जम्मू कश्मीर से हमारी एक बहुत प्रिंसिपल है सर तो आपसे एक सवाल पूछेंगे वेदा अफीफा जी आप अनम्यूट कीजिए थैंक यू सो मच वेदा आई एम रियली प्राउड ऑफ यू फॉर योर वर्क but there are certain responsibilities which we have to share like old age people we have to care for them as well as we take care of children because who will look after them either we have to put them in old age homes or we have to ignore our responsibilities both these are to be balanced for your uh, work i really appreciate your work and i really respect your work but still there are certain responsibilities which we have to carry on like here this is my mother in law i am working with her this is my responsibility being principal in a school i take care of responsibility during the day after that i take care, care of my mother in law so these are our responsibilities 
these, we, we don't have to shoulder. We don't have to ignore those responsibilities. Thank you so much for your bids. I really appreciate your work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Afifa Ji. Definitely, we should not uh, shy away from our responsibility. Um, I, uh, the, the, I think uh, who, uh, there was one student or uh, volunteer who asked me a question about uh, the, 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 the kind of pressure that they get or uh, where to lean, you know. So kya hota hai ki? my understanding is that, uh, you know, when we are working for something, it's not like, uh, uh, you know, uh, you are working for the society, bahana uh, khojo, if you are truly engaged, let's say, if you don't have even a minute working for others, your parents will get somehow this help from others also. That is something that I believe, uh, you know, in a way. Of course, if there is no one, you will definitely need to take responsibility. But, you know, sometimes things are not very comfortable, like my mother lives... Uh, she's also like uh, about 60. She lives about 200 kilometers away. Um, uh, we, we, we can't get to meet often or we can't get to talk also uh, often. But, uh, you know, because th there's a lot of work that, is, that I'm doing and she is also busy and so on. Then there is someone who is already there to take care of her. So, well, Insecurity ke hisab se nahi ki. What I believe is that if you are truly engaged in something uh, that is beneficial for the whole humanity, I'm sure your family will be taken care of. You know, that is something that that is my belief. And and if your mother needs, you will be more than happy to even serve them also. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, next question we have from Hardi. Hardi, I'm unmuting you from here. Please go ahead and ask your question. Yes. Uh, hi, Veda. Uh, hi. Again, a question uh, from your uh, commitment answer. Uh, so, as a youth, uh, as you said, we go. Uh, if we walk on the unconventional path, we generally uh, have to pass on the internal struggles and all. And there are uh, the uh, following thoughts and jo usko support karte hai. So I, I want to ask you one specific uh, question on one specific uh, thought. Ki how do you decide uh, where to comment, which is the right commitment and uh, difference between follow your heart and never give up? Like... Uh, we take the commitment. जब हम वहाँ पे चलते हैं तो और commit हमको जब monotonous zone आता है हमको जब छोड़ने की इच्छा होती है तो supportive thoughts जो आते हैं उसमें एक होता है कि what if this is not following my path? So तब हम बहुत confused हो जाते हैं कि am I following my heart or am I giving up? So what is the right direction? Uh, my is my are my thoughts pulling me or uh, am I thinking right? So the youth of youth of, of OSS are very deep thinkers. <laughs> the question and something that I go through also, but I don't know how to you know put that put those ideas put those thought process in words. Like it. Uh, so let me just think about it. How? Um, what do I do in those situations? So if you are committed in doing something, I mean, let's take a moment where you are committed in doing something, right? And you start questioning whether this was the right commitment. Let us say that I have taken a goal. Yes. In give a name not so, long term commitment but but a goal yeah i think i think it's quite clear here because uh, i think that's not your goal because if you have set it as your commitment i think even though it's 
you come across doubts and confusion and so on, you will keep continuing that commitment because it's your commitment. It's your goal, right? So then how about some people leave <laughs> some path and <laughs> yeah. 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 that I know, but every time this happens and then we ask ourselves, are we following our heart and what are we doing? <laughs> so, uh, yes. Uh, oh, heart, heart, heart training. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, it requires I think up to certain stage, uh, like certain age or let's say certain experience, you have to train to like even things that you don't like. I mean, good things. Like suppose, for example, tomorrow there is a a, a work that was that is given by you uh, from Oasis Movement uh, Committee. You know, you don't you don't want to do it. Abhi to wo to karna hai, even if you don't like it, right? Once then not you, exactly following heart. Mm. No, initially to heart to heart ko understand karne mein to thoda training chahiye. Once you are truly capable of understanding your heart, that means you have certain experience. And once you are able to listen to your heart, wo training already ho gaya to, uske baad to you will know whether this is the commitment that you have to make or not. For example, let's say. If somebody offers me, uh, 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 let's say, uh, if somebody calls me, okay, Veda, I have so-and-so job for you, please come here. Uh, it has good money and it has everything, you know. So, abhi ye to crystal clear hai liye. I'm, I'm not going to leave my work. Because I have put a little bit of practice in understanding where my happiness lies or what kind of work that I, that my heart likes, you know, what really touches my heart. So uh, I think I may not be able, I'm, I'm definitely not going to be able to give you a clear cut answer because it's, uh, <laughs> even I don't really know how to deal with uh, those circumstances. Personally, I deal with, with those circumstances, but for you, I don't know. So, what the heart ko sunne ka training pehle, how much closer can you get to your heart? You have to observe yourself. You have to ask yourself. If you are truly able to understand your heart, then you will know this is the voice of the heart. Lekin uske liye to, I think it requires a lot of spiritual experience also. And at the same time, you have to practice the, the art of committing at something, even when things are not to your, uh, you know, uh, to your liking. Or training karte karte jao, I think, to do things as you are given and uh, slowly you will understand where your heart tells you. I think this is my takeaway. Uh, to follow your heart, first know your heart, right? Right. So, yes. Yeah. 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 Usse pehle, usse I think it's important that you practice uh, you know, committing to a good cause, whatever you believe in. Thank you. Okay, so Aksila, I'm going to unmute you from here. Yes. Uh, yeah, okay. Please go ahead and ask your question. Good, good evening. Good evening. So, you have gone through so many ups and downs in your life. So, I want you to if I ask you just three achievements that made you feel so deeply satisfied, which will be that three? Three achievements. Well, I have learned to appreciate the smile on children I and mean, then the smile that they wear on their face, you know, that really makes me proud. Um, I can understand the problems of other people that is another achievement, probably. And uh, yeah, uh, and uh, generally, I'm capable of loving people no matter what kind of people they are, whether they are, you know, uh, I mean, uh, whether they come from different family background or whether they come from different religion, caste, uh, you know, and so on. So I think it's, it's like that. I think I have, uh, 
I have learned is there's still a long way to go, but uh, definitely that has something that has grown be um, because of my work. Vipiji, I'll unmute you from here. Aap apna sawal Oh. Yes, you can yeah. go ahead. Yeah. Uh, uh, hello, uh, Veda ji. It was uh, really nice listening to you. And uh, I have this question. What you said all about the spiritual life and how it shapes and builds your day-to-day uh, -day life, uh, it's very much important that our uh, population uh, understand this especially as you said that parents should not uh, you know uh, have so much of worry about what their child should choose and how they'll be successful because they have also learned all this how to communicate or convey this idea to the parents that it's really very important that children should take spiritual learning and how are the way you can make it more interesting and impactful uh, for the younger generation to take up that like you know to absorb those we, we have beautiful things in our um, scriptures and uh, it's really working well but how to make it uh, happen in um, today's world that's my question is um that's a very very interesting question as well because uh, this is something that we also face and uh, i think it's it's uh, spirituality is all about uh, role model i guess you know having an environment where children see what their parents are doing what their teachers are doing what their friends are doing really impacts them a lot lot more than you know teaching them what spirituality is. Because spirituality can't be really taught. It can be experienced, you see. Correct. Our children, they live in the community. They are from morning to evening, morning and before go to bed. Even when they are in bed, it's all sadhana, you see. Uh, in the morning, they wake up, they do service, they have their own um, timetable, they have discipline, but there is an attitude towards what they are doing. There is a different take on each and every activity that they are following. So, usko, usko karne ke liye to, usko develop karne ke liye to, I think it's all about the school environment and family environment, the way teachers uh, live their life, the way parents live their life is the most impactful thing. Of course, we can find other tools because spirituality is not a substitute. It is a complement. It comes, it helps you to build even more successful life, even when it is, uh, yes. even if material life you want to be a good ceo you want to be a good entrepreneur if you want to be a good uh, businessman let's say if you want to be a good scientist if you want to be a good social worker spirituality is the key because it makes you happy it makes you do something that comes from your heart it makes you understand who you are and whatever you do is spontaneous is natural rather than you know uh, something that you have forced on yourself and the energy is ever flowing. So uh, there's a continuous supply of inspiration uh, because of your spirituality. So dhyan uh, or yoga, see, you don't have to uh, to misunderstanding it. Correct. <laughs> if you feel like leaving material mm -hmm. world, yes, you will be. I mean, uh, there's a lot in that sense also. But mm -hmm. kuch chhodna nahi hai, kuch lena hai, kuch paana hai, kuch, kuch sikhna hai. Usko sikhne ke tarikhe se rakhna padega, nahi ki usko chhodne ka tarikhe se. See, you are learning everything. You have to pick up everything. You should not do this. You should not do that. If we place that, then meditation becomes contradictory. So meditation, yeah, spiritual learning, is ko to hum both kaise we have to make it a complementary thing, you know. Uh, and an aid in their future growth. 
सो उसी को उस तरह से रखना पड़ेगा हम तो यहाँ पे वही करते हैं मेडिटेशन इज पार्ट ऑफ लाइफ whether you want to build a big a, a good family a beautiful family you want to be a good mother you want to be a good father you want to be a good uh, manager you want to be a good entrepreneur a uh, meditation spirituality sadhana andar jana wo to important hai karke waise hum bar bar kahte hain hum waise hi live karte hain to i mean uh, you can be a good musician you can be a good guitarist and be spiritual so we'll take one last question from vaishnavi uh vaishnavi i'm unmuting you from here please uh, go ahead and ask your question thank you yes so um mera question ye hai ki aapne aisa bola ki hame mind mind ko control karna hai uski practice karni hai so uh matlab mujhe thodi क्वेरी है कि ये माइंड का जजमेंट है मतलब जजमेंट कैसे ले कि ये माइंड की इच्छा है या फिर हार्ट की इच्छा है वो दोनों में डिफरेंस कैसे करें कैन यू कैन यू रिपीट इट आई कैन आई कुडंट हियर यू वेल यस यस आपने ऐसा बोला हां यस आपने ऐसा बोला कि uh, हम सबको माइंड को कंट्रोल करने की प्रैक्टिस करनी चाहिए जहाँ पे हमको ऐसा मन होता है कि ये मैं करूँ जैसे आपको आपने खाने का भी एग्जाम्पल दिया कि मुझे कुछ खाने की इच्छा हो रही है तो मैं खाओ लेकिन उसी समय पे हमें माइंड को कंट्रोल करना है कि नहीं मुझे वो नहीं खाना है और इस तरह से प्रैक्टिस करनी है ऐसा आपने अपनी स्पीच में मतलब जो भी आपने बोला अपनी स्टोरी में ये चीज आई तो मुझे क्वेरी ये है कि आपकी बात सही है मैं आपकी बात से एग्री भी हूँ लेकिन क्वेरी यहाँ पे है क्योंकि वंस यू स्टार्ट ट्रेनिंग योर माइंड इन अ वे यू वॉन्ट ए टू वर्क यू विल बी एबल टू इम्प्लीमेंट योर माइंड इन वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू अचीव राइट तो हार्ट और माइंड का बात तो ये तो नेचुरल होता है ये जब पता लगता है तो पता लगता है यू से यू लव योर मदर इट्स अनडाउटेबल राइट यू फील इट इन योर हार्ट यू डोंट हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इट कम्स टू यू ऑन इट्स ऑन इट्स नेचुरल इट फ्लोज इन यू यू से तो वो तो या आई थिंक वही है मेरे को कहा ना वो तो एक्सपीरियंस करते जाना है करते जाना है वेन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन वेन यू लुक एट अ चाइल्ड डांस है इफ टीयर्स स्टार्ट फ्लोइंग थ्रू योर आईज यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट्स कमिंग फ्रॉम योर हार्ट इट्स नॉट कमिंग फ्रॉम योर माइंड हाँ किसी आदमी को देखा और लगा कि हाँ ये आदमी तो ऐसा ऐसा है ये आदमी अच्छा नहीं है ये आदमी ऐसा ऐसा है ये बेकार है ये कुछ नहीं कर सकता है इट इट्स नॉट कमिंग फ्रॉम योर हार्ट यू आर जजिंग यू सी यू आर जजिंग द पर्सन तो ये तो हो जाता है ये तो हार्ट का हार्ट तो हार्ट तो मेल्ट हो जाता है हार्ट वो मेंटल बैरियर को क्रॉस कर करता है वो यू सी थिंग बियॉन्ड इट्स अपियरेंस वेन यू when you understand things through your heart thank you okay. so wonderful questions and even more beautiful answers thank you so much for answering each and every question so thoughtfully so meditatively i would say so one last question that we have for you is like we all are driven by something right we all have something that we want to achieve uh, so what is it that you dream aapka sapna kya hai aapka khwab vision kya hai jo aap achieve karna chahte hain ek to jo bahar ka jo dream hai wo to you know uh, provide education especially to children from difficult background wo ek mission hai और मेरे अंदर का वो मिशन तो जो कुछ करना है वो 
आ, अपने आप को भूल के करना है वैसा हैबिट बनाना है कि जो कुछ करूं उसमें इतना आनंद आ जाए कि मैं वहीं पे खो जाऊं अभी तो खो नहीं सकता कभी कभी खोता हूं लेकिन फिर दिमाग आ जाता है देन आई स्टार्ट थिंकिंग माय गॉड देन दिस एंड दैट लेकिन वैसा कुछ पाना है तो ऑन मटेरियल लेवल यू नो एजुकेशन फॉर पुअर एंड नीडी चिल्ड्रन गिव देम द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एजुकेशन इनर पार्ट तो वही है जो कुछ करता हूँ वो पूरा इतना खो के करना है इतना आनंद के साथ करना है कि लाइफ ही वही बन जाए ब्यूटिफुल सेशन वेदा आपने इतना दिल खोल के हमारे साथ शेयर किया आपकी जर्नी स्ट्रगल्स चैलेंजेस ऐसी बातें बताई शायद आपने शेयर ना भी की हो पहले बट वी रियली लर्न द रिफ्लेक्शन दैट वी आर गेटिंग इन दियंस आर रियली रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ पर्सन दैट यू आर यू आर ब्यूटिफुल पर्सन एंड थैंक यू सो मच कि हम आज वी गॉट टू नो अ ब्यूटिफुल ह्यूमन बींग इन यू एंड वी इन्वाइट यू टू कम टू एस एज वैलीज any time you want you can come here we are a family as you have said sure we would love to host you one day and we'll stay connected of course thank you so much once again for sharing such a beautiful life i'm sure definitely that many of the youngsters who have asked questions who have not asked questions all have been helped including me including the elders in some way or the other so really really thank you uh, thank you. you thank you so much Thank, Thank you, you so much, and so sending you lots and lots of love from India. Thank you. Thank you. Real honor and pleasure talking to you today. Thank you. Thank you, Tina ji. Thank you, Jay, and thank you, uh, the the. Uh, thank you, Shiva ji and Sanjeev ji as well. Please convey my uh, love for them as well, and all the all the young people joined here. Thank you so much. It was an awesome session. I also enjoyed a lot. You know, my headache is gone. So thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> You've inspired us all today. So on our Independence Day. So we are truly honored. Thank you, and I welcome you to all to Nepal. You know, you have to plan a journey. In Nepal, we have a beautiful spot here for all of you. You can have, you know, your uh, uh, your whole community here. So once the Corona thing gets over. we should definitely plan something like that in 2023 we are organizing idex so in person so of course you are all welcome there then wow we would love to see love you to be. as well yeah absolutely